Ooh. As a clinician, I'm obviously involved in diagnostic assessments. And when it comes to the area of autism spectrum conditions that we call Asperger syndrome, or high functioning autism, or mild autism, we are fairly good at describing boys. The original descriptions were of boys. However, we know the girls are there, but they hide, they mimic, they have an ability to pretend to be normal. And when they are exhausted and very stressed, it may be only in their adolescent years that we pick up depression, anxiety disorder, eating disorder, intense emotions that leads to a diagnostic assessment. So we're only just starting to understand how to identify girls, especially teenage girls, with Asperger syndrome. The other area is the adults who never had diagnostic assessments when they were young. They always felt that they were different. And they've tried to accommodate that difference and create a self-understanding or scaffolding of who I am and how I'm going to succeed. And so we now need new strategies to identify the adults. And sometimes I will give interviews on the radio. And the radio station will then have hundreds of phone calls from people who are driving their car, uh, listening at home, who suddenly realize, you just described me. That was me as a child. That was perfect. But, but nobody knew that when I was a child. And so we find that we are developing strategies, questionnaires, ways of interviewing the person about their childhood, developmental history and so on, that confirms the diagnosis. What we find is initially there's an enormous sense of oh, relief. Now I know. I am not mad. I am not bad. I am different. I can now explain myself to people. I have literature. I have information. I have validation for my characteristics. But then there can be a next stage of despair. But where are the services? I have Asperger's but who's to help me? That's where that support group is so valuable. Because sometimes the best support comes from, not from professionals, but from other people with Asperger's syndrome. So for the adults, they're often greatly relieved. I can make better decisions in my career, in my understanding of myself, and in relationships. I know what I'm going to be good at and what I should avoid. I have a better understanding for decisions in life. But there's also a need for understanding how do I explain it to my family? How do I explain it to my work colleagues? Will they understand it? Will there be someone I can talk to about my problems that knows Asperger's syndrome? So although it answers a major question, it causes new questions.